Hi Libra and welcome to your reading with me Jackie here on Bony Tarot. Um, yeah, I just want to say, just want to start by saying I feel for you Libra, um, for some of you, remember this isn't for everyone, I feel you, your uh, creative uses are flowing, I feel you're feeling pretty uh, content and proud with what you're doing, with how far you've come. Um, I'm feeling this really good energy here for some of you, all right? Um, this, is, this is really good. And I just want to say before I start the reading, that whatever you're doing, you know, you, you need to sort of really be proud of yourself because I'm feeling this really good vibe of a uh, great achievement here for you, Libra, all right? And so before I pull the tarot, I am pulling from the Felina tarot for you, which doesn't surprise me. <laughs> very, um, very uh, elegant uh, tarot deck. I love this uh, tarot deck. I actually don't use it enough. But before we start, before we bold some cards, let's just have a look at the oracle cards that came out for you, Libra. So I'm going to start here with this lovely, let me just put these cards down a minute. Uh, we start, start off here with this lovely um, new supportive connections here with you. So you're open to, I feel this, this is all to do with networking. So I do feel that you're open to other people's uh, or certain people around you, their ideas, thoughts and opinions. This is a card of collaboration. It's also a card of, um, you know, teamwork as well, you know, being able to work in a team. But I do feel for some of you, if you're working um if you're independently working, you're your own boss, anything like that, uh, that you're the sort of, a, you don't mind, you know, taking light, having a second opinion in some way, sort of taking, as I say, new ideas and uh, listening to what other people think about what you're doing. Okay, so that's a lovely card, Libra. Okay, next we have this uh, proud card. It is the number eight. So being proud. So whatever you're producing, whatever work you're producing, it's something you can feel proud of. All right, Libra. So, you know, sort of be proud of yourself there. Uh, take And you take pride in your work as well. Okay, so your next, uh, these are my little I've made oracles. So this next card you have, is you do have the letter D. So that may be of some significance for you. And we also have the number four, which is uh, for this, it represents Uranus. And we have the word dutiful on that card. OK, so you take whatever it is you're doing seriously, Libra. OK, you're adding, uh, I'd say you're adding to your portfolio, maybe putting another notch under your belt in some way. And sort of gaining experience as you go, you know, so whatever you're working on. I do feel this is to do with your creativity, your work, uh, something to that effect, all right? So you're still sort of learning. Um, as I say, you could be getting uh, further qualifications uh, for what you do, sort of. Um, let me just pull that forward. So you're um, gaining new experiences as well. Okay, so let's pull some tarot and see what we have for you, Libra. Right, let's just cut the cards. Excuse me. Right, let's just have a look in the present position. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords. So don't doubt yourself, um, Libra, okay? Sort of don't sort of doubt what you can do and what you can't do. You know, you can do it. You know you can do it. Uh, don't be stuck in your head about something, you know. Sort of take away that sort of negative thinking 
that you could be doing at this particular time. Maybe there's some worry about something that you're uh, thinking of going into as well. So maybe if you are, um, as I say, just for example, if you are trying to, um, if you're studying or doing something for a new qualification, there could be some uh, slight worry and doubt here about feeling if you'd be able to uh, to do it in some way. Okay, but we're going to pull clarifiers and see what we have. Okay, in your past position, the Ace of Swords. So, all, you know, Aces are all about new beginnings. All right, so it's about decisions. It's about clarity, intellect, and uh, also confrontation too. So uh, here we could be looking at uh, some sort of decision that you need to make. This is about being, uh, you know, standing in your own truth. So whatever's clouding you at the moment, keeping you sort of confused, you know, you can cut through that, Libra, you know, you can. Of course you can, all right? Let's have a look. Let me put that there, let me put that there. Okay, also I'd say the Ace of Swords is a, an idea and a decision that you've made in the past that may be... Uh, causing you to sort of doubt yourself now in in this present time but you you do have lovely energy coming through here so you are capable there's a lots and lots of potential here for something to work okay if you're clear and truthful about what you want and where you're going so let's have a look i'm going to have a look at the uh foundation seven of cups okay um, the sign I've done, Aries actually got this just before you. So we do have this Seven of Cups energy. So you are feeling um, that, I would say that that is sort of like a sort of blockage for you, uh, being sort of confused and not sort of being able to decide. So there is some indecisiveness here about what, you, what it is you want to do. But I would say with balance, combine everything sort of, sort of combine things together and uh, as I say you know you don't have to just achieve one thing that you're doing you can you, you can add to the mix you can sort of achieve many things so um, it's about deciding remember whatever you decide you could as I say do one thing at a time so you know do one thing and then move on to the other <coughs> excuse me Libra a little bit of a cough today okay so in your crowning position we have the angman of course this is about waiting uh, i would say waiting until you see things clearer with the angman sorry i've got out of uh, the camera there so this is also about you uh, looking at your options uh, needing to I'd say just needing to take time. I say take time out and make sure that you're making the right choices for yourself. We will pull clarifiers. Also, the young man, we know that's a card of looking at things from a different perspective as well. Okay, so your potential future, you know, whatever. Ooh, so we do have two majors here. Lovely card. You do have the strength card. So this is you, I'd say, um, unafraid, you know, going in, you know, making up your mind, eventually making up your mind and making a decision. OK, so this is also about inner strength. It's a card of patience, willpower. So, um, yeah, don't be afraid to uh, sort of move forward in whatever it is that you want to do, Libra. All right. So let's pull some clarifiers and let's have a look. Remember that remembering as well the strength card is also when we say patience we you know things take time things don't happen overnight so things you know happen in as they say divine timing you know which can be quite a while but at the end we sort of get there we get to the place where we need to be so let's have a look
So for the Eight of Swords, let me just cut the cards. Let's have a look. Okay, so for the Eight of Swords, you have the Nine of Wands. <clears throat> As I say, don't doubt yourself. If you have a look at this Nine of Wands, you can see he's uh, kneeling there. Whatever it is, it's going to grow. It has potential to grow. Don't give up. It's a card of not giving up, Libra, okay? Um, even if you're feeling a little bit, I say a little bit deflated at the moment, where you're feeling a little bit confused, you know, don't sort of be downhearted and, and don't give up. You know, you're nearly there. You're nearly at the finish line. Okay, so let's have a look at the recent past. Oh, I'm not surprised to see this card, <laughs> the Empress. This is you glowing. This is you, as they say, your glow up. And um, this is you looking radiant and uh, looking after yourself. You're looking really well. And I did feel, I did, really did feel that energy before I started the reading, especially when I see that lovely uh, new supportive connections there. And as I say, be proud of yourself as well with that strength card because you do have the proud card here. So, um, yeah, this is about uh, sort of being, as I say, with the uh, Empress, it's appreciated and enjoying what surrounds you. Sorry, what surrounds you as well, you know. So, appreciate what you have, you know, feel proud of how far you've come. Um, you know, you're looking, you know, for some of you, you're really looking good. You know, you're really looking radiant. You've really sort of, you know, you've made, you look after yourself. You know, you've been looking after yourself, you know, just not on the outer. As I say, the outer appearance, this is also about the inner as well, especially with that strength card there. This is about, your, you know, that inner work you've done on yourself as well. So let's have a look. What else do we have? So let's have a look at your foundation card. Okay, the Three of Swords. You do have the Three of Swords. So um, maybe something um, deep, I'll say deeply rooted. Uh, something uh, maybe in the past, maybe some poor choices, you know, some poor choices you've made that's that's made you feel uh, it's a card of heartbreak, you know, being disappointed, especially in love for some of you. So, um, yeah, it's something that may be preventing you or that's knocked your confidence in some way that's happened in the past. Maybe this is a person from the past um, that's knocked your confidence, Libra. So, uh, as I say, don't give up, you know, don't let your past define your future, you know, because this is something that you seem to be carrying with you into your sort of new Let's say your new life, your new adventure, you know, which looks so promising. Don't keep uh, casting your mind back to uh, anything that was negative in the past and that hurt you. All right, I hope I'm making sense, Libra. I always say that. <laughs> in your focus, let's have a look. Wow, great. And with the hangman, this is about, and she's looking... She's looking at that, which is a pomegranate. She's holding a pomegranate. Now, for, it can be the symbol of, uh, I think it's something to do with uh, sex, sexuality or something. But anyway, you know the eye priestess is your inner knowing, your gut feeling, okay? So, you know, take time out with that own man to sort of look at something differently and look at your options, especially mirroring the Seven of uh, Cups. You know, take a look at what's on offer as well. And uh, yeah, so, you know, just go go with your gut, your intuition, a card of intuition here. And also, uh, I feel the Angman is also a card of intuition and being sort of enlightened about something. And it also needs you to sort of uh, just pause and uh, reflect and just uh, look at something a little bit longer all right so let's have a look at this strength card oh lovely so we've got the queen of cups all right 
So if we look at the, uh, there we go, if we look at the Queen of Cups, so this is, uh, if we're looking at a, a person where it's, we could be avoiding, okay, or we could be hanging on to something too tightly as well. Um, but very sympathetic, very emotional, very caring. If we're looking at a person, if we're looking at a situation, it's being in touch with your emotions. All right. Receiving support, love and friendship here. And I do see that support here, especially with that strength card. So you could be a tower of strength for others as well, Libra. Uh, someone here. Maybe this could be a close friend, you know, or, or even a partner. You know, someone that you've got, a, you know, good support around you. Because we do have that uh, supportive connections there. All right, Libra, I hope that, as I say, I hope that made sense. And I hope that resonated with some of, some of you. These readings for November, short and sweet. And um, as I say, good luck. And uh, I do like what I say. Just don't doubt yourself. You know, don't give up. And uh, you're quite capable of, of achieving what you want. And uh, I see you. I'll be back very soon next time for your December readings. So that'll be in a few weeks, of course. And as I always say, please take care. God bless. And I'll be back soon. Bye.